Hello and welcome to Ball and Order. I'm Gabe Ibrahim and that's Alex Lang, whose cat just threw up. So we're waiting for him to come back before we start the show. There he is. Do you mind if I clean this real quick? I started the show without you seeing it. <laughs> Do you want to move over to the Boston Celtics now? Sure. I'll give you their vital signs and we could talk about them more. 7-7, seven seven, uh, ninth place in the East. 106.6 offensive rating, 22nd in the NBA. 103.8 defensive rating, though, 6th best in the NBA, and that stat is correct. 2.8 net rating, 11th best in the NBA, according to Clint Glass. They are 4-2 and two since they had a players' meeting in the first two weeks of the season. In That's Orlando. <laughs> in Orlando. They beat the crap out of the Heat the next night. He had some injuries, but still, impressive win. No, they did. That was, that was a nice one. Inter- an interesting coincidence here. Jalen Brown has been hurt since yeah. that Miami game. It is interesting that they're playing better, that he's not there. And my overlying question with this team is, do they like each other? My bigger is like, do they make sense together? They looked real good giving a lot of shot attempts to Dennis Schroeder. And honestly, like they should have done much better against these Cavs. Like mm-hmm. the Cavs were missing three starters in the first game they played and four starters in the second game they played. So what does this tell you about this team? Um, I don't, I'm so deeply confused when I watch them. I, I, I watched the more I watched two of their old games mm-hmm. too, to try to figure them out. And I just like Jalen Tatum has been terrible. And Jason Tatum, I, sorry, Jason Tatum, sorry, you combine sorry. them into one they, player, which would be like, awesome if they could do that. <laughs> they could do, if they could combine Jalen. The problem is their offense kind of does try to do that. They both get used identical ways and like mm-hmm. in the same spot on the floor, like sometimes at the same time. I, I just, I don't get this team. Like, they're worse than the sum of their parts. For right now, I just don't see – this team is not well built, and I don't know how this happened. When you had so much draft capital, you had so many ways to get better and build not just have these two guys. Like Jalen Brown and, and Jason Tatum are great. I just don't know how you don't have anybody else. Like, how, like you don't have anybody else in this team where a defense is going to be afraid of them. I'm not sure how that happened with the setup that they had yeah. three years ago. Yeah, you turn you turn the great roster situation into like the B team Clippers. Right. And it's a good it's a good team, but with Boston, you're expecting them to be amazing. And well, all and- we heard about for like 10 years was the rebuilding plan, all the picks, everything. And you turn you got two guys. You got yeah. two guys who are who are very good. I don't know how this happened. I'd be very, very disappointed in Boston. And I think that's a reason why they had to change in, in, in addition to the chemistry issues that were reported on mm. with Brad Stevens. Um, but I think it was just more of like, what the, what the hell did Danny Ainge do? We ended up worse than the Nets. Right. And, and not just played free agency. Like, and not even like the net and, and beyond just like them getting Kevin Durant. Like they also had more assets to go after James Harden. They yeah, also had, they, they beat them out in a trade for James Harden. Right. Like, there's so much more depth on that team and organization. And I just don't know how this happened in Boston because everyone was lapping it up, like you said, for a freaking decade.